Here is 10 powerful iconic weapons that you can find in Cyberpunk 2077. Part 1. Yes, we're jumping straight into this today and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this. Starting with the 05 Iconic Sniper Rifle. Now if you're a stealth build looking for a little something to take targets out from a distance, the 05 Sniper Rifle is most definitely the weapon for you. With a headshot multiplier of 3.8 and massive boost to critical chance, thermal damage and burn chance, you'll have no problem eliminating most enemies in just a single shot. And although the iconic weapon comes with explosive tipped ammo to up its damage, this won't prevent you from ricocheting bullets with the appropriate cyberware installed. In other words, your targets will have nowhere left to hide, and in general, it's one of the best sniper rifles you can get a hold of. Now to get your hands on the O5, you'll need to complete a side job called Beat on the Brat Arroyo, and head over to its marker in the western region of Santo Domingo. Once there, you'll need to challenge a guy named Buck to a fight, and choose the option to bet him 12,000 eddies, and ask that he throws in his unique sniper rifle into the pot. Once he's been beaten, he and his crew will turn on you, and once defeated, you'll be able to pick up his epic version of the iconic O5 sniper rifle. Quick warning though, if you are playing on hard difficulty or above, you're gonna have a bad time. Arm yourself with some gorilla arms before you engage if you are on the harder difficulties, because trust me, this guy turns into one punch man and will literally take you down in one hit. Talking of the best snipers in Cyberpunk, up next we have the Overwatch. With an increased reload speed, custom silencer, headshot multiplier of 2.1, and boost to both critical and bleeding chance, it's no wonder that Overwatch is a rogue's best friend. Not only will you be able to take out most targets with a single shot, you'll also be able to do so without ever giving your position away, making full use of any stealth pipe bonuses you have. And again, it's one of the most powerful snipers in the game, so it's definitely worth picking up. Now to get the Overwatch, you'll first have to complete the main mission of the second act known as Ghost Town, which is where you'll meet and work with Pan Am for the first time. Once completed, you'll eventually receive a call from Pan Am activating a side quest called Riders of the Storm. Simply follow along this quest and complete it and you'll be awarded with the powerful Overwatch sniper rifle. Definitely a great weapon to get your hands on. Now if you're not afraid of making some noise and love the sound and smell of a spinning chamber full of lead, then look no further than the legendary Overture Revolver. The Overture throws complexity out of the window by concentrating on its high DPS and ability to ricochet bullets around cover. Now what makes this pistol stand out amongst others is its very high crit damage, crit chance and headshot multiplier, making this thing a literal headshot machine and one of the best power pistols you can get a hold of. And better yet, there's actually two different easy ways to obtain this. Firstly, if you head on over to the pin location on the map in the northeastern region of Watson, you'll find yourself in an area rife with cargo containers and some enemies. Either take them out or sneak past and head in the direction of the wrecked car. Keep on traveling straight ahead and you'll see the overture lying on a makeshift table just above an orange plastic chair. And the second way to obtain this is if you come to this location in Haywood marked right here on your map. Once here, head down the alleyway near the Captain Caliente's store, and head through the side door on the building next to it. Once in the building, take a left turn and then another left turn again, and on a table inside of this room is where you'll find the pistol. Overall, it's a great legendary weapon and is super easy to get a hold of, so you might as well give it a try. And while we are on the subject of powerful pistols, of course, we have to include the legendary iconic Malorian Arms 3516 power pistol, also known as Johnny Silverhand's trusty sidearm. With a great DPS, a headshot multiplier of 1.2, and insane boost to thermal damage, burning holes through an enemy's chest has never been easier. You'll also find four weapon mod slots available for customization, along with a stylish firing and reload animation, which makes every kill a visual spectacle. Now a lot of you would already have used this and loved it during Johnny Silverhand's flashback, so you'll be pleased to know that it's actually really easy to obtain. 
To get this, you'll first need to complete the main mission called Tapeworm near the end of Act 2 of the main story. Completing this will unlock a side job called Chipping In, which involves Rogue calling you back to the afterlife bar. Simply follow the mission prompts until you defeat a character named Grayson towards the end. From there, you'll now have the option to pick up Johnny Silverhand's gun off the floor, which you'll automatically get in its legendary form. A true legendary weapon that you all need to get your hands on. Up next, we have the iconic gold-plated baseball bat. And not only does this iconic weapon allow you to bash in heads with style, its very high DPS and rapid swing rate of 5 attacks per second means that most enemies will be on the floor before even being able to fight back. The additional mod slot and chance to apply bleeding is more of a bonus than anything else. Like seriously, this is one of the best blunt melee weapons you can get a hold of. Now to get this iconic weapon in your inventory, go ahead and complete the main mission called Tapeworm which will unlock the side mission called Chipping In. Complete this side mission and the others in its arc until you reach one called Second Conflict. Now I will have on screen the string of quests that you have to complete before you do get to this one. From here, simply follow the mission prompts until you reach two NPCs called Denny and Henry. After talking to Denny and Henry, you'll eventually see Denny throw a baseball bat to the ground. All that's left is for you to walk over to it and pick it up. It's really as easy as that. And again, it's a definitely one of the better melee weapons you can get a hold of. And is also just extremely fun to use too. Divided We Stand. Like most smart weapons, the Divided We Stand Assault Rifle comes with a smart targeting system, which means you'll be able to hit all of your shots so long as you have SmartLink Cyberware installed. But what makes it different from the other weapons in this category is its ability to deal with overwhelming odds. In fact, its targeting system has been modified to target up to 5 enemies at the same time. The iconic assault rifle also deals a massive amount of chemical damage and has quite the boost above critical and poison chance. Overall, it's an amazing assault rifle that you need to get your hands on. Now to get this, you'll have to take part in the shooting competition being hosted by the 6th Street Gang in the side mission called Stadium Luck. To find this quest, head on over to this location on your map in the southeastern district of Santo Domingo and talk your way into the contest. From here, simply hit all 45 targets while drinking at the four sections and you'll earn first prize, which happens to be the rare iconic Divided We Stand Assault Rifle. If you're a street baller intent on becoming the champion of every district in Night City, you've probably come face to face with Ozob, a clownish looking man who surprisingly has a grenade for a nose. Funny enough, you can actually craft your own version of his nose after following a few steps, which acts as a frag grenade and deals a boosted amount of physical damage. And although not exactly an iconic weapon, I thought I'd add it to the list anyway because of how useful it is and how easily it can be missed. To get your hands on Ozob's nose, you'll simply have to complete the side mission called Send In at the Clowns. Once tracked, call Ozob and he'll send you the coordinates to a parking spot in Japantown. Once parked, give a few hunks and he'll ask you to drive him to Little China. From there, simply defeat the enemies at the next location and he'll award you with some eddies and the ability to craft Ozob's nose from your crafting menu. It's one of the only special grenades that you can get in this game, so either way, it's definitely worth picking up. The next iconic weapon on this list is the Jinchu Maru Katana, which is extremely useful for any build that has a high reflexes attribute score. Unlike other katanas though, this one moves away from modifications and leans heavily towards boosting its damage output, bleeding chance, stamina cost reduction when attacking, and critical chance. In fact, this katana will gain a critical chance of 100% when Karentikov is active. Other unique abilities include double damage against enemies with twice your current health, as well as on the last strike of a combo, making the Jinchu Maru Katana a real boss killer. To earn this iconic katana, you'll have to proceed to the main mission known as Play It Safe, where you'll speak to Takimura and later be asked to investigate the bazaar in Japantown. After killing the enemy snipers during this mission and permanently disconnecting a netrunner from the web, you'll be surprised by a boss enemy known as Sandayu Oda. 
Defeat him and you'll be free to earn the iconic katana from his buddy. If you're someone who likes using melee weapons, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on this one. But if you prefer aiming manually and have a love for ricocheting bullets off the wall, then look no further than the satisfying Archangel. With a solid boost to electrical damage, critical chance, ricocheting damage and shock chance, you'll be able to stun enemies easily while they cower in fear. The Archangel also separates itself from other power revolvers in that it has a significantly reduced recoil, making headshots incredibly easy to land. Couple this with its headshot multiplier of 2 and you have yourself a pretty dangerous combination. Now finding this iconic revolver is actually pretty simple, but it does require you to complete a long string of side jobs until you get to a quest called A Like Supreme. Now again, I'll pop up an image on screen of all of the jobs you'll need to complete until you get to this one. Once on the quest, simply follow the mission prompts and you'll be given the Archangel Pistol by Kelly at the very end of the mission. <laughs> and we can't leave this video without mentioning good old Skippy the Talking Pistol. You see, Skippy is one of the most unique weapons in the game, as it comes with a hologram bullet that will actually talk to you. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be what, dum, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Yeah, Skippy has quite the personality, and since this is the only time you will ever see a weapon do this, it's not something you're going to want to miss out on. Anyway, not only does Skippy come with a headshot multiplier of around 1.7 and a number of boosts to electrical damage, shot chance and critical damage, it also has an advanced aiming system that can be set to target an enemy's head or groin depending on your preference. Now, I do suggest that when you pick up the weapon, you choose the pacifist option, as after 50 kills, Skippy will turn on you and switch his mode permanently. So it's best to choose the option to aim for the body first, as later it will be switched to the head, thus dealing more damage in the long run. Now Skippy can be found as soon as all districts in Night City open up, so once you reach this point in Act 1, head on over to the pin location in the eastern region of Haywood. Hop over the fence as shown and you'll find yourself in a closed off alleyway. From here, if you simply walk up to the nearest dumpster, you'll see a dead body, and resting next to this body is Skippy in an already opened weapons case. After that, simply pick it up and you'll now begin interacting with Skippy the hologram bullet. It's definitely something you don't want to miss out on. And that's pretty much it for the video. If you did enjoy this video today, drop a like down below and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated on the channel, and I've also left timestamps as well in the comment section down below. Other than that, I'll catch you all in the next Cyberpunk video.